Hello there, Sarah from Seventeen once again, introducing you to some more Dark Souls player versus player invasions. This time I'm back in the forest and uh, I'm taking on a panda. So let's see how this one plays out. So from the last video it seems like I've got a little bit more humanity which tells you that I've been doing some more PvPing and uh, my souls aren't very high but I'm killing people that don't have that many souls. So uh, this guy has his back to me and he flasks to get his life back before the fight. I bow to him, he bows back and it's on baby. Ding ding. So he's wearing, <laughs> oh goodness me, poor guy. He's uh, <laughs> He's got some of the heaviest gear on the game, and he's he's attempting a couple of parries there, but unfortunately spamming parry doesn't work. I get behind him, slash him a few times to wake him up, and uh, jump towards him then, because I'm super aggressive, because the fat roll tells me this guy is probably not too good. Uh, that's my kick, if you're wondering, with the shuttle. Because I know he's fishing for the parries, I'm not going to do the standard strike. I'm going to do the more difficult ones. I'm going to kick him. I'm going to uh, just do... Everything I can that doesn't involve getting parried. And this guy's going for it. He's, he's really going for it, but <laughs> what you need to bear in mind with the parry is because of lag, you generally have to parry before they've even done the slash. You can't wait and respond unless your connection's amazing and you get to the simple connections. There's so much lag on this game that it doesn't matter. Sometimes parrying is complete fluke. And I assume that this guy's just practicing his parries because he's got a lot of life and a lot of defense. And it's all he's doing. He's just parry spamming and backstabbing me every so often because, you know, bad players backstab. And, and he's healing. And, <laughs> and he's getting backstabbed for it. So it's, it's like back and forth. It's kind of funny. And um, I too hand because I realize this guy has no interest in fighting. He just wants to to practice with me because he knows he's stronger than me, he's a higher level. And uh, I punish him for it. And I think I get a lot of souls off this guy because he's he's a really high level. Yeah, 188,000 souls. And I messaged him saying, you know, good fight, in interesting approach to parrying and, and how lag can make it really difficult. And he sent me a really smug message back saying, don't think that I'm good because all he was doing is practicing parries. So I responded saying I meant nothing of the sort, and in fairness, all you did is spam and mash parry and fish for backstabs, so, you know, fuck you. But this guy's in full giants, he's also buffed with, I think that's a warding spell of some kind, I'm not too sure. I think it stops magic damage. Look at this bullshit, man. Lag on this game is so frustrating. He's flipping with the Darkwood Grain Ring, he's using the Dark blade and, I, and I'm lagging because he's lag stabbing me and he's hitting me from miles away. Yeah, there's not much you can do about that kind of stuff. And I think I bump into him a few times actually in in that session. But this is a guy on a buffalo, can't remember if that's the same name as the last person. And I'm looking for him and one thing I've started doing now is I've started, do you see over there? That's a ghost believe it or not. I remember this one. Look at that bullshit. Don't even touch me, still does damage. Cheap shots me from a dead angle entering a room because he's a bad player. And full Havel set, except for the headpiece. Great axe. And I'm going to say this now, people. This guy pissed me off, and we exchanged some interesting words. And the reason he pissed me off is because not only was he cheap, but I should have won. And the only reason I didn't win is because I'm a bad player. So, right there he does the fire breath, and that's the first time I'd seen it. I know the dragon head does afford you certain abilities, and I've never really fought against them, so I'm still learning, but... You'll notice I'm using the silver night shield, because I really want to get the parry times down against this axe, because everybody uses it, and the lag is crushing me, I just can't seem to get the timing. And I hit him a few times with the shuttle, and as soon as he turns around, I know he's trying to run away and heal. That's what people do. And if I was a clever player, or if I was the player I am now, not saying that I'm any, any smarter than I was in the video, I would throw a Lloyd's Talisman at him, because I'm wheedling him down, and he's going to heal. That's why he's running around. And I'm trying to backstab him, I'm having no success. And this guy's losing the fight, and he's losing because he doesn't know how to fight. And there he flasks, he gives me his back, and I don't change my weapon because I panic. 
And I should just chain backstabs, but I'm not doing that. And he's going to start sm really mashing me with this axe because, I mean, look at that. Oh, so frustrating. I mean, when you're playing it, it's not as bad because you just assume you got sloppy. But just then, he didn't even touch me. And, uh, and, he, and he inevitably kills me because that's just how it works. And then he bows because he thinks he did something cool. And, you know, that pisses me off. So uh, I sent him some shit. But back in the deep end in Anor Londo, I've got a phantom and a horse wearing a fog ring. That's why you can barely see the little bastard. And they have no interest in fighting fair, they just want some easy souls, so I run down here to try and lure them into the lightning demons, and lo and behold, they've killed the lightning demons. So, I know there's two fellas down here that will be my saviour if it goes this far, and it ain't these little guys. These little guys are just the, the, the starting menu. If anybody is dumb enough to follow me onto this platform, they're going to get shot at by arrows. Anybody who's played Anor Rondo will remember with a passion how much bullshit the, the Silver Knights with their arrows are. As I get hit by a Soul Spear that misses me, which is always fun. And I should have healed here, I should have used a Humanity Gun. I'm still in the stubborn phase of not healing because these guys are, are way, way on these ledges. I didn't even know you could get on the ledges that they're on. And I run up here to my saviors, the Silver Knights, and I don't think these guys show any interest in following me. And because I'm impatient and I want to win, I end up going back down and probably dying. But we'll soon find out. Oh, there we go. I hit But these archers are merciless. Look at this, man. They, they never run out of arrows. They're really damaging. And ooh, the host is coming for me. Why, why am I not attacking him? That's interesting. Even if he fires the soul spear at me, I can dodge it. The host is following me. This is this is more like it. I wish more people were this courageous. Uh, there he's using the, the the soul arrow. Ooh, he's he's not too strong either, and he's panicking. He's backpedaling. He's backpedaling so his buddy can help him out. And here comes his buddy with his big staff. There comes his magic, which I dodge. There's his inevitable flask, which is a faggot. We hit each other, and oh god, I'm in a bad spot. Can I backstab? No, I flipped too many times. <laughs> Come on, arrows, help me out! I need some help. <laughs> this is just not going the way I wanted it to, as I'm getting stun locked and smashed by both of them. And uh, the horse was wearing Gwyn's, Gwyn's armor, and he bows because you know two v one is completely honourable, and it shows nothing but skill. So this is Mr. Dark Echo. And, uh, He's a Wrath Spammer, which is brilliant, because he's hiding in full Havel's gear. He's got the Great Shield of Artorius and the cheapest spell on the game. And I don't know if you noticed, but he's level 444. And this is how he plays. He's in... L let me put it this way, guys. I have a character who's level 185, and it took me 100 hours to get him that high. Uh, granted, I wasn't trying to, to level him up, but... That, that's how high I got in that amount of time. Now imagine how long it took this cheesy bastard to get to as high as he is. And this is how he fights. It's unbelievable. And when I was fighting him, he hit me and it didn't even touch me. And I was blocking and I, and I d couldn't understand why I took damage. So I healed. And this is one of the first times I've healed in a one-on-one -on -one because I don't believe in it. And it's a douche move, it really is, but if you're going to have this many stacks of Wrath of Gods, I'm sorry, you're not a good player. You're just spamming a miracle that requires no skill. And, uh, watch him, this guy can swing for days. Look at that nonsense. Look at him. How many swings? Was that eight swings? Nine swings? And then he thinks he's a badass. Oh, I love it. It's people like this guy that make me want to play this game more, just so that I can get to a point where I can destroy them, because... Is that not the most skillful player you've ever watched? As he mashes the attack button because his stamina lasts for days. <laughs> oh, so good. Thanks for watching. You take care now.